All right, what's up everybody? Back with a quick video doing some talky talky schmuppy schmuppy and um, working on the BVM 20F1 and the Sigma Supergun. Uh, this is running a Mushi Misama PCB that has definitely been through the war. Jack is uh, in the background tearing up a toy, probably, or my couch. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just throw some credits in and, and talk uh, about nothing in particular. So, I'm kind of between keeping this camera or returning it. I've got uh, a couple of, couple of weeks to figure that out. And, you know, basically, the gist of it is, it is a, not a new camera. Like I said before, um, it was very open box to the point where the Best Buy dude took his jackknife and tore it off the display. And I bought it because it was the cheapest camera that seemed like it was still decent, but it's a, a, a Sony Alpha 5100, which I believe was first released in 2014. So, you know, of course, after the fact, I go in there, buy this camera, and uh, it so happens I find the camera that I thought I lost, and it had just been in a corner of uh, a relative's house since some holiday a year ago or two and uh, sure enough I find it and I have an Alpha 6000 which is a fine camera I guess and uh, I should preface all this with like I don't know shit about cameras so anyways uh, apparently this 5100 is very popular as a streaming camera and I didn't really give that much thought when I went in to, to buy this sucker, but, um, you know, I suppose I could, I could try and do some streaming at some point. And, um, you're not going to see fantastic gameplay, not that you can really pay attention at this camera angle. So you're really just hearing a bunch of clicks and probably the occasional um, swear word. And I probably should have held that out. I wasn't really paying attention. But we're just going to just gonna go as far as she goes here. Um, so, yeah. So I might keep this camera, I might return it. Um, you know, I think the, the video quality that it does is okay. The audio is so-so. And um, it could take a very nice picture. Um, but I, there are newer cameras for a little bit more money that maybe would suit my purposes better. I'm looking at a, a Sony ZV-1, which, uh, you know, is all over the internet. It's like, best YouTuber's channel. and. I loosely consider myself a YouTuber. So, you know, how much of this do I really need? And I'm really not ever planning to be in front of this camera. Hate to break it to you. But, you know, the world's a crazy place. Not that I'm uh, a conspiracy theorist, but, you know, the internet is forever. What can I say? I love this stick, by the way. It has got great action. It really does. And since I uh, since I swapped out the ball top for an aluminum Parada Paradise Arcade uh, doohickey there, you know, when I come down to the basement and uh, grab on, it feels like, you know, cold steel. And it just kind of gets you ready to go. It's like a feels like, I don't know, a sword or something, some sort of weapon. Anyways, 
it's not quiet. I'll tell you that. You know, it, it's funny this trend of like silent buttons, silent sticks. And I, I think I, I have one. I've got like uh, the Hori Kuro and it's, it's installed on uh, a panel next to me. And actually, it was on that very stick that I cleared uh, Mushi Masama original mode. This is this is Maniac, which you know uh, I, I haven't really been practicing too much. I'll come down to the basement, and throw a, a couple of credits in, maybe once or twice a week. I'm, I've really been kind of busy with other stuff. But it's interesting. Oh, there we go. Now I got some bombs again. It's interesting, you know, trying to practice on original hardware like I've done forever. Um, and I'm obviously lucky enough to buy these PCBs when they were only $500, not, you know, $1,200. That's a bomb. Um, you know, and then I, I set up that, that shmup arch bit of a kit, and ooh, me. Let me tell you, that will do a lot to, uh, yeah. Mushi's kind of weird. You, you have to do this kind of tap, tap movement, and if you're coming from another game, uh, even another cave game, I, I feel like the movement's just a little different, and, um, uh, you know, here I go, blaming the controller, blaming the game uh, for my lack of skill. But what was I saying? Shmup Arch, just being able to save states. I know, I'm like an idiot. Uh, you know, because really, people have been doing this forever, right? Emulation. Well, I did plenty of emulation in the late 90s. That's how I played every Super Nintendo I ever played was uh, on emulation, but for shooting games, it's a whole new dimension, because, you know, a, a level like this, you know, we're not even level four, shit, not paying attention, not even level four, but it starts to get harder, you know, and here I, I've, I've spent probably eight minutes, ten minutes to get to this point, and, um, you know, and it, it, it all eats up your time. And so I find the Shmup Arch is a great tool to preserve your time and practice the difficult sections of these these games. That was lucky. I should be dead there. So anyways, I'm sorry, I'm tapping the button. Again, it's kind of a mushy thing where you, you hold auto fire and you and you kind of tap the concentrate fire to kind of keep you moving fast, but give you a stronger shot. You know, it's just it's one of the quirks of this game. Great game. Really one of my favorites. Well, son of a bitch, you know, another quirk of this camera is it overheats. So, yeah, I think I gotta go go back to Best Buy. I It's a beautiful little camera, but uh, you know, I guess I could use the other one, but I kind of wanted to keep one on one tripod and one more like action ready like this little guy. But um, you know, that's a, that's a bummer. So um, may not suit my purposes, in other words. Anyways, uh, if anybody's got like good camera suggestions, for, you know, see my videos and know what I'm into, um, you know, by all means, let me know. Um, and, um, yeah, so I'll just leave it with like a couple little, little things, um, on like what I keep around Shmup Station Alpha. How about this guy? A little bit of, uh, eye drops. Uh, I don't know if this really does anything, but if you if you're kind of looking, you know, into a CRT from about a foot away for over 40 minutes, you might want to 
to moisturize your eyeballs. And obviously some, some ESD pink bubble wrap. There's the, the Sigma uh, that I modded with the DOJ sticker to cover up that derpy race car. And a mini disc player. Why do I have a mini disc player? Well, again, you know, playing on the arcade, you know, it's like your time is valuable. And when you reach that flow state, that sort of, I don't know, Zen uh, kind of Buddha under the tree, and that's when you start to play your best. And I find that if I'm listening to music, sometimes it helps me get there. I don't think about other things like work or bills, whatever. So get one of these little guys. And the reason why I went with a Walkman or a mini disc player is, uh, you know, I got some, I got some tunes for it. These are kind of newer stuff, uh, which the hipsters put out on mini disc and they had a mini disc player, you know, back when, um, uh, they had this NetMD thing, you know, when you're downloading all, the, all your music from Napster. So anyways, so I've always had them kind of kicking around. I like the format. It's not, you know, super great quality, I suppose. But um, I do this instead of listening to like Spotify on my phone, just so uh, the, the, the phone isn't even part of my headspace, if that makes any sense. If I'm if the, if I'm sort of attached to my phone, it's a distraction. The phone's a major distraction, so you know keep everything off grid when I'm when I'm doing uh, shooting games. So let's see and uh, see my shutter speed on this. I actually set it to 50 as opposed to 60 because this is like I don't know if I put it on 60, uh, you see a little bit more of a pulse. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty good quality, I guess. Looks okay. I don't know if I could do like a CRT style, like, oops, I hit the button by mistake. <laughs> so yeah, so I was playing on Maniac. That was original. And uh, BVM does put out a real Freaking sharp image, man! I tell you, can't doesn't even do it justice here. Let's see if I can shoot up her nose. No, it doesn't like that. But yeah, nothing like it, man. Nothing like playing on a good old CRT power tube. It's the best. All right, guys, I'm gonna take off now. Thanks for watching, and um, you know the the trials and tribulations of cameras continues. I think. Uh, the fact that this one overheats after like 10 minutes sometimes if I don't have every port and orifice on it open is a major bummer. Um, but, you know, it's only money too. So, um, going up to like some other newer style camera, it's going to it's gonna cost me a few hundred dollars extra. So, uh, well, okay. Talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Talk soon.